Hands are notoriously difficult to model, so in this tutorial I'm going to make a relatively simple model of a robot hand loosely based on the artwork from the Pink Floyd album Wish You Were Here. I'm going to go to the view menu and toggle quad view. I'm going to go into edit mode and face select mode. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel in the top view and select the top face. I'm going to pan down in the front view, holding down shift and dragging with the middle mouse button. I'm going to press G to grab, followed by Z or Z for the Z or Z direction. I'm going to stretch the cube to form the finger, but I'm going to enter a numeric value, 6, and enter. I'm going to go to the Add Menu, Mesh, Cylinder. I'm going to, this time, instead of pressing G, I'll grab the tip of the blue arrow and move that up, but again, I'm going to enter a numeric value, 7, and enter. In the right view, I'm going to press R to rotate, and again type in 90 and enter. I'm going to press A twice to select all, then I'm going to hold down Shift and press D to duplicate, and the duplicate I'll use to form the fingernail later. To make the knuckle, I'm going to go to the View menu and toggle Quad View. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel and pan using Shift and Middle Mouse button. I'm going to loop cut and slide, and as soon as I've got a horizontal loop cut, I'm going to press 4 on the keyboard to give me 4 loop cuts, and hit the left mouse button. I'm dragging holding down the middle mouse button just to see the size of the finger, so that when I hold down Alt and select the bottom edge, the whole loop is selected. I'm going to drag upwards using the tip of the blue arrow, and I'm going to enter a numeric value of 1.2 and enter. Again, holding down the Alt key, select the next loop and grab the tip of the blue arrow, drag downwards, I'm going to enter minus 1.2, enter. Hold down the Alt key, select the loop, drag the loop down with the tip of the blue arrow and I'm going to enter minus 2.4 and enter. I'm going to go into face select mode, I'm going to select a front face, press E to extrude, and I'm going to enter a numeric value of minus 0.4 and enter. Select another front face, E to extrude, minus 0.4 and enter. Zooming in with the mouse wheel, I'm going to go into edge select mode, select a front edge, hold down shift, and select the four front edges. Press delete on the keyboard and delete edges. Zooming in a bit more with the mouse wheel, I'm going to go into Vertex Select Mode and I'm going to select this vertex, hold down Shift, select the other three vertices and press F on the keyboard to make face. Select this vertex, hold down Shift, select the other three vertices, F on the keyboard to make face, dragging with the middle mouse button. Select this vertex, hold down Shift, select the other three vertices, F to make face. Select this vertex, hold down Shift, Select the other three, F to make face. Zooming back with the mouse wheel and panning using shift and middle mouse button, I'm going to make the fingernail. I'm going to the view menu, toggle quad view, view menu bottom, shift and middle mouse button to pan, face select mode, and select the bottom face. In the front view, grab the tip of the blue arrow and drag upwards, and I'm going to type 6 and enter. In the bottom view, I'm going to press S to scale and type in 0.6 and enter. In panning in the top view, I'm going to turn limit selection to visible off, press B for B select and select all the faces. I'm going to S to scale and Y for Y direction and scale that down a factor of 0.3 and enter. In the front view, I'm going to press R to rotate and 180 and enter, and S to scale and a factor of 0.7 and enter. In the right view, I'm going to grab the tip of the green arrow and move that to the, the fingernail, halfway through the fingernail over the finger. In the right view, uh, front view, I'm going to drag the fingernail in front of the finger and panning and zooming in with the mouse wheel I'm going to grab the tip of the blue arrow and just move that up a shade. The 
finger is now complete, I'll carry on and finish the rest of the hand in part 2 of the tutorial.